Hello everybody, today is September 29th, 2013. Al-Qaeda fraction of Syrian rebels attack two churches, break crosses, and raise flag of jihad. On Thursday, the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant attacked two churches in the northern Syria city of Raqqa. They broke the crosses off the top of the churches, set the contents of the building on fire, and lifted the black flag of Al-Qaeda above them. The attacks mirrored similar efforts by the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt where 80 churches have been destroyed with the black flag being raised above some. The actions of Al-Qaeda and the Muslim Brotherhood clearly show that the claims that other religions flourish under Islamic rule is a lie. Breaking the cross and putting the flag of jihad in their place is a very symbolic move showing that they plan to crush Christianity and expand an Islamic empire or capitalate. Oh yeah. These are the groups that the United Nations government supports now with monetary as well as military aid. In this picture here, the head of one of the groups is standing in a U.S. aid tent holding an anti-aircraft rocket propelled grenade that can bring down civilian aircraft. This article goes on to say it, as we reported earlier, ISIL and other terrorist fractions in the Syrian rebels are hanging back and letting the moderate fractions do the fighting. While they are busy fighting Assad, the terrorist raid, the warehouses, and other stockpiles of aid given by the West. Their plan is to let the moderate groups and the Assad regime kill one another and then take over once both groups are sufficiently weakened. If we keep sending aid to the Syrian rebels, it looks like their plans will succeed. Here is the image of them taking down the Christian cross. And I'll give you links to this article and the photos down below in the more information box. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.